Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve, KI5JUF. So uh, I got this software downloaded yesterday, uh, this uh, visualization software. And what I did, I went ahead and purchased the full license version because I, I thought maybe uh, one subscriber mentioned some, some differences that he was seeing. So I thought I would just go ahead and... Uh, uh, download or, and actually purchase the software. It was sixty dollars, and I think it's like for a year, and then it just—I think you it renews every year. Uh, and I don't think it's a full sixty dollars on the renewal, but the initial purchase price was about sixty dollars. So what I'll do—I've got my radio turned off, and I'm going to go ahead and launch the software here, and I'm going to double click on it. And again, now I have the full version. So what's going to happen is you'll hear the radio click on, and it just clicked on right there. And it'll go ahead and make a connection. So this is this is what you see with the full paid version. So we'll go here. Um, it, it looks like it it doesn't say demo. It doesn't come up with the demo screen anymore. So this is actually the full paid version. So this is what you'll see if you actually purchase the software, and it does give you a 30-day trial that you can uh, purchase the software later. But uh, anyway, I thought it would be helpful just to purchase the full version just to make sure that there wasn't any uh, additional features that uh, might have not been included in the demo package. But it looks like the 30-day demo package uh, has looks to have all the same functionality. So what I was going to do is just kind of go through some of these functions uh, on the radio, but I'm going to actually use the mouse. Now, one of the things I have not figured out how to do is, uh, of course, you can use the MOX to go into transmit mode. And uh, let me make sure I'm on a dummy load here. And I am. We just had a lightning storm come through, so I had to dis disconnect everything for about an hour. So anyway, we're back online now. We're transmitting it into a dummy load. The only way I know to transmit initially is to press the MOX and then when you press the MOX it will actually transmit. See we're in transmit mode right now and if I release the MOX that will take it out of transmit mode. So technically you could use that as a uh, like a, a foot a foot press that you might have. You know a lot of radios have the foot press that you have. Uh, so that is the way to transmit. Again we're going into a dummy load here. Uh, Let's see, I think I actually have to have the back end turned on. Yes, I do. Hold on, let me verify that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're transmitting. We're just at very, very low power right now. Uh, one, two, three, KI5, JUF. Yeah, we're just running five watts. Uh, actually, I'll just, I'll turn the power up just a little bit. Uh, I need to stop transmitting here. All right, let me turn the power up real quick. Uh, I don't, I think I can actually turn the power up here let's see there's a hundred okay there's a hundred watts right there let me make sure we're going into that dummy load yes we are we are going into the dummy load try this again here this is ki5 juf oh i, I gotta talk into the microphone kilo yeah, Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. So one of the things also I'll share with you is um, the headset I'm wearing doesn't seem to work like a microphone like I thought it was. So what I've had to do is uh, let's, turn the, let's turn the power to 50 watts. So what I'm doing is I'm actually grabbing the microphone, the M100, while I have the headset on. So it, it's I was thinking the headset might actually work as a microphone. It doesn't seem to do that. So we're at 50 watts now. This is KI5, JUF, Kilo, India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot, calling CQ 10 meter into a dummy load. KI5, JUF. So that is, uh, it looks like the microphone is probably the best way to go. So kind of moving around here just a little bit. Uh, now the Vox is also the one that you can use to, if you turn the Vox on, then whenever you speak into the microphone, it will actually key up. So I think the best thing for now is just use your microphone with the radio and that, that should be, that should be fine. So a couple of things here, uh, the squelch, let's see. We've got to uh, 
doesn't seem to be adjusting the squelch like I thought it would. Uh, looking for the squelch over here. Yeah, I was trying to find the squelch over here. Let me pause this for a second. Okay, sorry about that. I had a, actually had a operator, radio operator there, thing called an AF gain. And <laughs> so I had the, the gain turned all the way down. So if I adjust the squelch here, you, you'll hear the squelch come in. And this is the RF gain here. And of course, we want to normally, that's the, uh, we want to leave this. Remember on the RF gain, the higher you get it, the higher you do this, watch the S meter there, see how it's going up. You're actually, anything below the needle, you're actually not going to hear it. So we want to leave that as sensitive as possible. Um, here we go. Let's see. Here's the audio AF gain. You can hear it. Here's the squelch and the RF gain. Of course, we always want to leave this as sensitive as possible. Uh, the RF power is right here, so you can adjust your power. We can go up to 100 watts. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot, calling CQ 10 meter. And actually, since I'm on sideband, I need to have my little bezel in there. I didn't have it on there. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot, calling CQ 10 meter. And then if we turn our power down to, say, 25 watts, 10 watts, KI5, JUF. So there's how you adjust your RF power. Uh, the monitor, uh, let's see, this, I have to go back. Uh, oh, the monitor is, is when you can hear yourself in the radio like this, Kilo India 5. Now if I turn this off, Kilo India 5, if I turn it on again, this is the background monitor. Whoops, that was, Keep, ah, let's turn, let me turn it back down a little bit. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot testing. All right, so that's the monitor feature. Now the speech processor, uh, we have this turned on. Uh, now let's, let's, let me turn on the monitor again. Speech processor on, one, two, three. And if I turn the speech processor off, speech processor, one, two, three. Speech processor on. Speech processor one, two, three. So that's how you turn on the processor. Now the equalizer is right here. We also have that turned on. Equalizer on one, two, three. And if I turn it off, equalizer one, two, three. Microphone equalizer off. Microphone equalizer on. Kind of hard to tell. I wish I had a headset I could do it. And of course, uh, the Vox is when you actually talk into the radio. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot, KI5, JUF, using the VOX command. Mm -hmm. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot, using the VOX. I am not pressing the uh, PTT. I'm only speaking into the microphone. So we'll turn that back off. So these are just some of the basic functions here uh, that you have on the radio. But the nice thing is you've got everything right here. You don't have to go uh, into the button menus and things like that. You've got everything right here. So this this is this is really nice. Uh, now you've also got some things over here. Um, we've got a narrow and the width. And uh, I'm still working on this. I haven't quite got this all figured out yet. Uh, we have the noise blinker. Uh, now we also have digital noise reduction, and what's the nice thing about it is, is we can adjust it. So let's listen here. Uh, let's let's turn the squelch back. Oh, we've got DNR on. I want to turn it off. So if I turn DNR on, we'll go through, and you can go through the 15 different settings that we have. And we'll go ahead and turn the squelch back up. Now the next thing is uh, some of these these contour things. I'm going to do some videos on these. I'm currently researching the the, the contour. The way I understand it, there's um, 
it, it, it picks out a, 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 a like a wedge of the bandwidth and it it has a certain gain and it also has a certain position within the bandwidth so gain would be vertical power and then of course your uh, horizontal would be where it actually does like the notch or the the removal of the interference but we'll, we'll go back and do that later so the other thing is uh, let's say for example we want to go to we're on a we're on 10 meter right now. So what I'm gonna do now is, let's just go to uh, 10 meter FM. So what I would do is come here and click here, and I will type in 29, 600 and press enter. Okay, now we're on 29, 600. I'll change the mode to FM. Okay, and at this point, uh, I would probably want to run the antenna tuner, but I'm not sure how to do it yet. Attenuator, IPO, uh, oh, maybe this is it. This is tuning. Let's see if this will actually do it. I've got, I'm on the dummy load. It doesn't seem to do anything. I'll have to figure out how to run the antenna tuner, but I can run the antenna tuner manually on the radio. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it goes. And I've actually got to go back and uh, change this one to zero. Somehow we knocked off there. I'm still sorting a lot of this out. Okay, now we're back on frequency again. Uh, so the other thing, um, if you remember in one of the videos, we talked about having these quick memory channels. And one of the things you can do is, uh, let's go back to uh, 10 meter again, or let's go back to uh, let's go back to 28400. Oh, I just messed that up. 28400. And what I'll do is uh, a while back I had a video on how to pre record messages. So, one of the, in the video, it talks about what you want to do is you can have five different messages. So, you have to turn on the break end. And what you'll do is with this back end turned on, this now allows you to use these memories. So, let me show you real quick. If the break end is off, uh, let's see. Now it's on, now it's off. If I press one of these with the break end disabled, watch what happens. You, It will not transmit. Let's see. Uh, quick memory. Make sure this is on. I'll have to go back and figure that out. That uh, Those should have played a message, and I'm not sure why they didn't. Okay, we'll come back to that. All right, so overall, this is just, uh, let's see here, recall. This is Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot, calling CQ 10 meter and listening for a contact. Okay, there we go. We have to we have to push this. I guess we have to push this, but I'll, I'll sort this out later. But these are the five memories, so if I turn the, I'll, if I press the second one, I have a different message. Or turn on, this is Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot, calling CQ and now if I turn the back end on, if I press it again, we'll actually transmit. So let's try it again. Six meter, upper sideband, we're good. Or turn on, this is Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform Foxtrot, calling CQ 6 meter and listening for a contact. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform Foxtrot, calling CQ 6 meter and listening for a contact. And we've got the power turned up. I'm going to turn it back down. So that's the beauty of this thing. Is you go into different modes, like if you go back to 28400, uh, it will remember. See, we had the power turned down to 5. But if I go back and if I put uh, 51125, watch what happens to the power. Uh, I guess we, t yeah, it went up just a hair. So I'll go ahead and stop the video, but the purpose here was just to kind of give you a quick introduction of what this thing looks like, how you're able to use it. It's got a lot of powerful features. The one thing I regret is it doesn't have a waterfall, but anyway, we'll keep looking for that. KI5JUF, thanks again for watching and have a great evening. Uh, we'll talk to you later.